Now, the case against a former NASA Langley contractor accused of lying to federal agents has been delayed. Bo Zhang remains in custody and was to have a detention hearing, but that was continued. Instead, he made a first appearance on a grand jury indictment that he lied to law enforcement. Here's Andy Fox with the rest of the story. Yeah, the grand jury made it clear they want to hear more. Zhang was a PhD student at ODU. His advisor was associated with NASA Langley and brought Jang to the research center. In January, Jang's employment ended. He is not a U.S. citizen. He has a work visa and was on his way back to China when he got arrested. Bo Jang, a Chinese national, needed headphones and an interpreter to explain what was going on in court. How surprised are you that he's in this situation? Oh, everyone's surprised, yeah. Jang had 15 supporters in the courtroom, including his mother, who was emotional outside the courthouse. What did they think when he came into the courtroom? They haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, haven't seen him. Yeah, I mean, they're worried about him, of course. Yeah. What are they worried about? Uh, what's going to happen to him? Jang is accused of getting on a plane with a one-way ticket to China. During what is called a consensual encounter, a Homeland Security agent asked Jang what electronic media he had. Jang turned over a cell phone, a memory stick, external hard drive, a new computer. But during the search, law enforcement also found additional items, an additional laptop, old hard drive, a SIM card. Jang was taken into custody for lying, but his supporters say, hold on. He has a really bad uh, English accent. He, he can't really speak English all too well. So I, I don't know what's the difference between saying he has one computer when he has two, whether or not that was conveyed to him properly or not. The request for a search warrant states Jang once before left the country with a laptop that belonged to NASA Langley, and according to the government, it's believed contained sensitive information. We don't know yet what information was pulled in this latest incident. Jang's mother was in court and was emotional outside court, crying, afraid she has lost her son forever. Through an interpreter, we asked her some questions. He's accused of lying to law enforcement. Can you ask her if she thinks he did that? Why do you think he did that? Yeah, I think she, she thinks he is innocent. Jang remains in jail and will be back in court next Thursday for another detention hearing. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.